Rowland, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance led by National Honor Society members Kenneth, Aubrey, Kyle, Peyton, Maggie, and Cameron. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, I'm Brendan Dunlap. And I'm Dale Naki, and this is Westside Daily with your morning announcements. Veterans Day is coming up. There will be a school lunch on for local veterans next Tuesday from noon to 1230. If you have a veteran in your family, invite them to lunch. Please tell the office if you have a guest coming as soon as possible. Please consider making something special to show our veterans our appreciation. There will be no school on November 10th to honor Veterans Day. The first quarter ends on November 3rd. We have two half days next Wednesday and Thursday for parent-teacher conferences. We will be dismissed at 11.30 on those days. Now we go to Caleb and Nico Sports and Tony with special news. The Varsity Girls won their first playoff game yesterday versus Sharon Academy. The final score was 2-1. to one. Sawyer Perry scored the first goal of the game off a great corner kick from Kenner Wright Chapman in the first five minutes. Sharon scored 10 minutes later to tie the score. The score stayed tied for most of the game until Sawyer scored again off a feed from Cameron Williams with one minute remaining in that game. The girls will play again on Friday at home at 3 o'clock. Come out and support our girls in the quarterfinals. We will have info on last night's Varsity Boys game for you tomorrow. Also, the Varsity Sports Banquet is scheduled for November 14th at 6 p.m. Now for a short commercial break. <laughs> Fungus, have you seen these new crayons at the front desk? Oh, I haven't yet. Wow, those are cool. They look like the scarers. I know, but you have to be quiet because I kind of stole them from Roz. Why'd you do that? I heard they're being sold in the lobby for 25 cents each. Oh, I better go buy some, but I better put Roz's back before she notices. Oh, my God. Ah, Roz! <laughs> Thanks, Dylan and Brendan. If you're interested in doing the spelling bee, please see Miss Leafy or Miss Brooks for more information about study groups. The Velveteen Rabbit cast members are selling baked goods in the lobby on Wednesday afternoons to help pay for costumes and props. Please purchase something to help. Tomorrow, the class of 2025 is hosting a craft and movie night for elementary students for $15. There will be a fun activity and then students will watch the classic movie Halloween Town. This event starts after school and ends right before Trunk or Treat. Trunk or Treat starts at 6.30. Invite your family to decorate the trunk of their cars in a spooky theme for this fun event tomorrow night, October 27th. The Scholastic Book Fair is coming to West Rutland. It will be set up in the high school library from November 2nd to the 9th. Elementary classes can ask their teacher when your class is coming down to purchase books. Now for our teacher interview. Hi, I'm Tony, and I'm here with Mr. McLaughlin. I have a few questions for you. Sure. How long have you been teaching, and how long have you been here at WRS? Uh, I believe 22 years now is at West Rutland, and that's how long I've been teaching as well. What is your favorite part about teaching? Uh, I love working with the students. Uh, I really enjoy it, and I like seeing them enjoy themselves, and taking an active part in history. What is your favorite subject to teach? Again, um, history, but I like to do uh, ancient cultures especially. Did you have a different job before you became a teacher? If so, what was the job? I had quite a few. I uh, taught snowboarding at a ski resort. I uh, worked at UPS. I was a bookkeeper at a Walden bookstore, worked at a grocery store. None of them were that interesting other than the snowboarding one. What's your favorite thing to do outside of school? I like to hike. That's all f for questions. Thank you for your time.
problem. Now back to Brendan and Dylan. You guys are doing a great job. School picture retake day is tomorrow. Tomorrow, if you didn't get your picture taken or you hated your photo, make sure you're here. The Rutland Halloween Parade is this Saturday, October 28th. Mr. Henry and Mr. Hanton are looking for donations of Halloween candy for the parade. If you would like to donate, please drop it off to them at any time. Now we go to Ryan with Book Talk. Today's Red Clover book is Abdul's Story. The book is about a little boy who loves storytelling but struggles with writing. Abdul loves to tell stories, but writing them down is hard. His letters refuse to stay straight and face the right way. He learns that it's okay to make mistakes in this charming and encouraging picture book written by Jamila Thompson Bigelow. If you're interested, if you're an elementary student and in, and are interested in reading this book, ask your teacher to check it out and read it to you. Now back to Dylan and Brennan. All band members and dancers should be at the school on Saturday no later than 4.45 to take the bus into Rutland for the parade. Please make sure you get your permission slip signed. Dance lessons for the Halloween parade will continue to take place from 10.30 to 11 for the rest of the week. All dancers, please meet in the lobby. The West Rutland School Halloween Parade is next Tuesday, October 31st at 1.45. We will be marching around the town in our costumes with the band, so make sure you dress up on Halloween. The class of 2026 has West Rutland Trucker hats for sale for $20 each, and they look quite good. If you're interested in buying one, see Ms. Audette for more in details. Next Wednesday, November 1st, there will be a Korea Cafe for grades 9th through 12th. Students will be able to meet with local professionals in the area to learn about their careers and life experiences. Freshmen and sophomore students will report to the library at 11 a.m. during the second half of one block immediately after lunch. Grade 11 and 12 students will report to the library during the beginning of block three. Today's lunch is homemade goulash. Now for the joke of the day. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nobel. Nobel who? Nobel. That's why I knocked. We have one birthday today. Happy birthday to Aubrey Dennis' son in third grade. Happy birthday, Aubrey. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and as Mr. Slink would say, have, have a great day, day of learning. learning.